We're going to play sounds, it so. music, sounds over music. We're going to do it all. Well, those exact, just those things. So I'm going to initialize the mixer there. And my first sound that I'm going to play is the Star Trek Next Generation theme. Um, you do need the file extension, the .mp3. This does need to be in the same folder as your Python file, otherwise you're going to hear nothing at all. There it is, next gen. It's on GitHub next to this example, so you can just download these samples if you want to test out something real quick. And the last thing I'll say is, uh, before I play this one, is if you press play and, and stop, it, it'll play a microsecond of your song and you won't hear it. It'll be over before it started. So you need to put in sleep one, a one second pause. Let's give it even two seconds to allow it some time to play. So I play that, and there you go, you hear a little bit of Star Trek. Okay, um, and for sounds, it's very similar. Um, instead of mixer.music, it's mixer.sound. And I've got a Picard wav ready to go there. I've got two to choose from. And when I press, so, oh, just watch out, that's a capital S small m because python hates you <laughs> it's just trying to screw you up um but there you are. i saved i saved you the hassle um so um when you press play engage there you go and as i said the kind of cool feature of this is unlike wind sound if i have a, a, a two second thing there and let's say i let the music play for two seconds here now, it'll play the music, play sound over the music, Engage. and the music will continue going on, okay? So before you go off and try this, because you're going to get this error immediately on your very first line, um, manage packages if you're using Thonny here, and actually install Pygame. It doesn't come with Python. You have to install that's like a DLC, so to speak, really easy. Um, it's a module. So you install that, hit install. It's already installed on my machine, so I don't need to bother. Um, that's how easy it is to install modules on Thony. It's why you should use it starting off Python. Um, it's different if you're using PyCharm or Idle. You should just Google how to install Pygame with whatever you're using, because there's it's slightly different every time. But give Thony a go, like it's grand. <laughs> 